Hi, my name is Bill Laboon. I'm the Technical Education Lead at the Web3 Foundation here in Zug, Switzerland. And today I want to discuss why you might want to be a nominator on the Polkadot or Kusama networks. So in order to understand what a nominator does, we need to take a very small step back and talk about what a validator is. So a validator is one of the servers, one of the computers on the Polkadot or Kusama network that is actually producing the next block in the blockchain. So adding data to the system. So how this is done is that there are a limited number of validator slots available on the network. Uh, right now on Kusama that's 225. Uh, slots. So there are 225 servers that all come to an agreement on what the next block should be that should be added to the blockchain. And these servers are selected, these validators, by how much stake they have. And all that means is how much of a deposit are they willing to put down to ensure that they behave properly. And this this stake or deposit can be taken away from them if they act maliciously or incompetently, like being offline for a long period of time or with a group, many, a group of, uh, of many others. However, it's not possible, perhaps, for many uh, of these uh, servers to get to that level by themselves. So you may need quite a lot of tokens uh, in order to be part of this, this actively uh, producing blocks validator set. And so what you can do if you have a validator and you're interested in running and producing blocks, but you don't have the large amount of tokens uh, to get into that set of the, the top uh, 225 of the entire network uh, uh, stake, stakeholders, then you can solicit stake from other accounts. So these other accounts that will loan you stake in order to be a part of the active validator set are called nominators. Now you may ask yourself, well, why would someone want to let me borrow their stake in order, you know, it benefits me uh, because then I can be in the active validator set and produce blocks and thus get block rewards. But what, benef what benefit do they get? And the answer is you can provide that benefit to them by sharing in your block rewards. So just like if you need a loan from somebody, that person is going to ask for some uh, interest, you can say, I will share 95% of all of the block rewards that I get from producing blocks with my nominators uh, on a sort of a, a proportional basis so that if one person provides twice as much uh, stake to you then they will get twice as much in rewards. So here we can see that the benefit to both the nominator and the validator. The nominator gets block rewards. They get additional tokens added to their account. Uh, whereas the validator gets enough stake to actually produce blocks. So we see it's a very symbiotic relationship here. Most validators are going to need nominators. Uh, and nominators can get rewards without doing all the work of creating a server and keeping it available uh, at, you know, at a very high rate, etc. that a validator needs to do. So if you are interested in getting block rewards, then you know, so more of whatever token, uh, Kusama tokens or DOTs, but you don't want to actually run a validator yourself, which again is a rather technical uh, skill and re re requires a lot, a lot of work, you can be a nominator. This is especially important because both Polkadot and Kusama are inflationary networks. So if you want to keep up with inflation, that is, uh, if you want to make sure that as the money supply, as, as the, the token supply increases, that you can also uh, increase your supply of tokens, then nominating is one way to do that. The drawback, of course, uh, there's always a drawback, is 
that you can be slashed. So if the, one of the validators that you selected does something malicious or even just incompetent, not only they, but also you can lose a percentage of the stake that you have lent to that validator. Uh, however, there are some ways to ameliorate this. The first is that we provide the ability to nominate up to 16 different validators, which means that you can diversify your risks. If one particular validator that you have selected, it turns out to be uh, malicious, then only a very small percentage of your stake would be slashed. And you also can review these validators ahead of time. We provide several tools for you to examine the history of these validators to see have they stayed online? Have they done anything that tried to cheat the system or harm it in other ways? And so you can do some research ahead of time to really minimize your risk of getting slashed uh, as a nominator. So I hope that this has whet your appetite and you are now considering being a nominator. Uh, it is a great way to help the network and help uh, particular uh, validators out there that you want to support.